Uh, California, Georgia. Oh wow! I got family all around. Yeah, I'm just, just traveling, day. pretty much. <laughs> what part of Georgia? And Atlanta while I was there. Yeah. Yeah, it's beautiful there. Though. Oh, gorgeous! Yeah. Absolutely gorgeous. Okay, I'm gonna get this started for you. Thank you so much. She's so nice. This is actually really, really good. Alright guys, so there's not much to do here. <laughs> um, there is a Twilight Museum that I was hoping to go to, but it's closed until Friday. And I'm not staying here until Friday. This is my last day here. Um, so I guess we're going to skip that. But apparently they have a gym here and it looks pretty decent. Apparently there's a swimming pool and a gym area and a showering area. So I'm going to at least work out and shower or swim and shower. I would love to swim if it's open. So we're gonna go see if it's open right now because I have not swam in like over a year. And I really wanted to do a lot of swimming this year. And I haven't gotten that chance. So let's go check it out. It's been way too long. <sighs> I definitely want to get back into swimming. <laughs> oh, I forgot that I was wearing this. <laughs> oh well. So much fun. That was a lot of fun. I've been swimming like literally, I think like a, like 13 months. So that was refreshing. I definitely need to practice more because I was not on my game, but I still know the basics, which is good. But yeah, it's about to get dark, so I think we're gonna find something to eat and then figure out where we're gonna park. Hey, Bubba, did you miss me? Yeah? A little bit? No. <laughs> All right, so I am in the parking lot of like a store and like it's, it's like a grocery store and apparently I can park overnight here. So that's what we're going to do. This is our last night here in the morning. We're going to head out. I'll probably like, I don't know where I'm going to go after this, to be honest. I do have mail to pick up. Um, 
in Washington. So I'll be in there till it comes. I have something special for Lars. <laughs> you guys will probably get to see that. Um, and then I have some mail for me to pick up. But yeah, after I leave Washington, I have no idea where to go. Uh, I know Madeline and Rosa were talking about like the Tetons and like Wyoming. Uh, but to be honest, I really need to figure out like what my goals are, you know, like, I don't think it's like super important, but I think it's something that I want to do. I, I really want to figure out what I want to be doing. Cause a lot of people that I've met are like, I want to see all 50 States. I want to see waterfalls. I want to do this. I want to do that. And I don't really have a thing that I specifically want to see or do. So I kind of just drift from state to state and like have experiences, and, and, which is great. But I do feel like I really want to at least add a couple things to a chart to do so I can have some like streamlining and like plan out where my next stop is, I guess, more efficiently. Um, it is about to start getting really cold. In fact, up north, it's already freezing. It's like 50 degrees right now. Um, and I did have an idea to do maybe like a hot spring tour for the fall and the winter time. Hot spring tour. Maybe get back into swimming and maybe get back into skating. To be honest, those are things that I enjoy. I enjoy hot springs. I enjoy swimming and I enjoy skating. I guess that's a good start. Apparently there is this Navajo fry bread restaurant right across the street from where I'll be sleeping tonight. So I think they close in like 40 minutes. So I'm gonna clean up the van, put my laundry up, which I still haven't done, and then run over there and see if I can get some Navajo fry bread, which I've never had before. Um, and I'll bring you guys along to see what that is like <laughs> really excited to try this place out some fry bread myself and then I came here and I, I saw that you guys have a place. So I was like, all right. <laughs> Cause I'm sure I don't know how to do it right. <laughs> This looks really good, but it was really loud in there. So I'm just gonna go to the van and try it there. I'll let you guys know what it tastes like. And if it's good, I'll do my own version at some point and try it on this channel. All right, hopefully you guys can see me. So I got fries and I got the Bidia fry bread, which looks really good. The pastry or whatever it is, is very soft, but also crispy. So yeah, I'm gonna give this a taste and see what it's tasting like. A little thing of like consume. It 
and some lime. All right, cheers guys. Oh my God. Wow. Wow. Okay. That dough is so like airy. It's kind of like a funnel cake almost, but not sweet. Although I think there you can't, you can't order them sweet. So it's kind of like a funnel cake type of thing. This is really, really good, though. And I definitely will be making this on this channel. So look forward to that. All right, guys, I'm going to finish this. And I will see you guys in the morning because it's dark now. So I'm just going to finish this, clean up, go to bed, and catch up with you guys in the morning. Tomorrow, we're going to be driving either to or around the Olympic National Park. So yeah, see you guys in the morning. guys so um i am at olympic national park or well, at least in the area i'm not sure if this is actually connected but it's uh lake crescent crescent lake one of those things and there's like a really clear lake here called the devil's punch bowl i think rosa told me about it a couple weeks ago um when i was hanging out with her so i'm gonna go check that out and bring lars along and I probably won't jump in just because I went swimming yesterday and I already washed my hair, but we'll see. We'll see. If it looks so, if it looks like really, really beautiful and it's like warm at least a little bit, I might jump in because the pool yesterday was actually a heated pool, which I forgot to say. And that felt incredible. That was like the best swim I've swam in a lifetime. So yeah, let's go check it out. <laughs> is a creepy uh tunnel coming up <laughs> speaking of creepy though i really want to think of some ideas to do for halloween episodes because october is in like a few days i want to do some like spooky season stuff so 
y'all give me some ideas like in the comments of things you guys want to see like i had an idea to like maybe go to like a haunted forest and get a tent and you know like tent camp me and lars but yeah if y'all like that idea let me know if you have a different idea also let me know am i allowed to go in here Kind of feels like I shouldn't be in here. Wow. Let me turn the light on. Okay, there's a light on the other side of the tunnel. I should not be doing this after I just watched that movie, The Descent. And we are out. That was a lot smaller of a cave than I thought it was gonna be, but it was still kind of creepy. Okay, we're looking for the Devil's Punch Bowl. I think I already passed it, to be honest. Let's see what the sign says. Oh, Devil's Punch Bowl. Down here. Water is so blue. I hope it shows up on camera with some justice because this is crazy. So, <laughs> I went swimming yesterday for the first time in over a year, and it told me that I probably shouldn't jump off this bridge into this water like Rosa did. So, I'm gonna listen to that <laughs> because I can still swim, but I definitely need to practice again some more before I do some jumps like this but uh yeah I think that's what we're gonna do all fall and the winter time too we're gonna do hot tubs we're gonna do some tent camping in the snow I want to get caught in some snow I want to do some extreme stuff but also some really laid back stuff too so yeah I'm excited Time to let Lars out. Good job. Good job. He's such a good... He's such a good cat. Good job, buddy. Come on. Good job. That was a lot of fun. It's been way too long since I've been on like a good little hike. So that was a good time. Lars had a good time. Now I have to drive towards the like Tacoma area because I placed the order for a package a couple days ago and it will be um, arriving at my mailbox tomorrow. So I have to go to Tacoma to pick it up and you guys will see what I got. And also for everyone who's been asking me about a um, 
Amazon gift list or anything like that. I do not have one right now. I probably won't have one for a while because I'm moving around. I'm actually, when I pick up my package tomorrow, I'm gonna be closing out my mailbox here in Washington. Cause I think I'm probably gonna leave Washington um, in a couple days. So I'm gonna go ahead and cancel that out so I don't get mail sent there anymore. And I probably won't have a set mailbox until maybe fall. I mean, it's currently fall, but like maybe like when it starts to cool down and I end up going wherever I'm gonna go for the fall time, maybe like Arizona, New Mexico, California, Utah, somewhere around there probably. And I'll probably get a mailbox there just so I can have my mail sent to me. And if that's ever the case and you guys still want a Amazon gift list or somewhere to like a PO box to like send me things, cards, whatever it is, uh yeah i'll let you guys know but yeah let's hit the road <laughs> what's up guys so i just parked for the night um i bought something for lars which will be coming it was supposed to be here tomorrow but it actually is going to be like three days late so i have to stay in washington for a few more days which is fine i guess but um I'm gonna go ahead and cut it here. I had a good time. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the video and let me know. I still don't know where I'm going next after I leave Washington. So let me know in the comments where I should head. But uh, yeah, I'm gonna head to bed. So I will see you guys in the next one. Peace out astronauts.